Today's video, I am going to discuss ketoenol tautomerism and we are going to find out among ketone, aldehyde and ester which will undergo ketoenol tautomerism faster. Now let's understand ketoenol tautomerism. Ketoenol tautomerism is a characteristic tautomerism which takes place for the carbonyl type of compound. Like here we have taken acetone. The carbonyl group which attached with two alpha carbons so it has alpha hydrogens also. Alpha hydrogen is acidic in nature because carbonyl group is electron withdrawing group and this acidic proton undergoes ketoenol tautomerism. So here we can see this carbonyl oxygen double bond this pi electron move towards the oxygen side it become O minus and now this hydrogen is acidic in nature because carbonyl group is electron withdrawing group so that's why this hydrogen is acidic in nature and now these bonding electrons move to positively charged carbon and we are getting double bond here. So double bond is in and OH so all so it's a enol. Now let's check acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde also this is alpha carbon. So this alpha carbon undergo ketoenol tautomerism. So here also we are getting enol form. Next is the ethyl acetate. Ethyl acetate this is the alpha carbon. So this alpha carbon has alpha hydrogen. So it undergoes ketoenol tautomerism. So now we are getting enol of acetone, acetaldehyde and ethyl acetate. So next we have to check that which alpha hydrogen undergoes ketoenol tautomerism faster and what is the reason for that the reason is that that alpha hydrogen should be acidic in nature if the alpha hydrogen is acidic in nature then it undergoes ketoenol tautomerism faster now here we can see that this is the carbonyl group so oxygen become negative and carbon become pos delta positive now if this positive center is very strong or we can say that positive charge is more localized or intensified then ketoenol tautomerism will be faster means this hydrogen will move faster to form the enol form now try to find out that where this carbonyl carbon is positive charge is more intensified now look into this structure which is a uh, acetone structure here so this carbon is positively charged methyl has there are two methyl so methyl has plus i effect due to this plus i effect this positive charge is delocalized here is one methyl so that means this delocalization will be less in ester also there is one methyl so here also positive charge of delocalization will be less but at the same time we also have to think that in ester it has OC2H5 and oxygen has lone pair who can donate to positive bleachers mean it can undergo resonance. So that means and resonance is always dominating over the inductive effect. So that means in the ester one plus I effect methyl has plus I effect and also OC2H, it, uh, OC2H5 it has a plus R effect. That means this positive charge is more delocalized. More delocalized means this hydrogen means alpha hydrogen is quite less acidic in nature. So since it is a quite less acidic in nature, so definitely ketoenol tautomerism rate will be very less. And if I compare acetone and acetaldehyde, acetone has two methyl which has means two plus I effect, but in acetaldehyde only one methyl, so it has only one plus I effect. So definitely this positive charge of acetaldehyde is less delocalized than the positive charge of acetone. So that means correct order of rate of ketoenol tautomerism will be acetaldehyde will be fastest and ethyl acetate will be slowest.